Now, Chip Chapman with more fresh, delicious, and healthy food ideas to help your body eat well, feel good. Welcome back. It's Eat Well, Feel Good. I'm Chip Chapman. Kim Lett from Village Market in Collegedale is joining us again. Kim, it's almost time for our final recipe of the year, yes. and you've got something that's sort of a tradition here it in is. the South. It is. Um, we're just close to New Year's Day, and it's a Southern tradition to have black eyed peas mm -hmm. and some form of greens right. on New Year's Day. So what we're going to prepare today is a collard greens and black eyed pea soup. Two of my favorite things, but you're going to put them all in, in one. one recipe. And you know what? We're going to use a crock pot that's going to make things a lot simpler. Right. Okay. So basically what we can do is after we bring in the new year, we can just take all of our ingredients uh -huh. and put them in the pot, okay. let it cook for six to eight hours, right. and then we'll be ready to add some seasoning almost before we serve it. Let's so, get started. Okay. We're going to start out here with some black eyed peas. Mm -hmm. I've got seven cups. You can use canned or you can use dry or frozen, whichever you prefer. Are you supposed to soak these in water? If they're dried you or frozen, them? you need to do that to rehydrate them. Okay. okay? okay. Then we're going to add some collard greens. Those okay. are frozen. It's a 16 ounce package of frozen greens right. that have been thawed. Then we're going to add in a couple of chopped yellow onions. Chopped yellow yeah, onions. Yeah, put those in. Next, we've got one can of uh, chopped tomatoes. One can of chopped tomatoes. Right. Go ahead and put that in. Okay. Got it. So this is going to be you know, pretty much the main ingredients. Okay. Then we're going to add a little bit of vegetable broth. All right. How much? Okay. We're going to add this whole container and when another one. Actually, we've got to have eight cups of broth in this recipe. And then we're going to have an option of adding a little bit of water uh -huh. if you'd like to have a little bit more brothy nature to the soup. Okay, I so we're going like to put that in. Thick and chunky, so we're not going to put. The so water you don't in have this. to put it in. This is personal preference. Okay. okay? So what we're going to do is let this cook on a high heat from right. about six to eight hours. Okay. Okay. And after you set it on, you know, first thing in the morning, it'll be good to go later in the day. Right. About 30 minutes before we finish up, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to add our seasoning. Okay. Now the seasoning is what's going to bring the fabulous flavor to this soup. And this is all good stuff. So all let's good get stuff. We've got some imit. And I'll tell you what, we're not going to put them in today. We're going to wait and cook it. Okay. okay. But we're going to have some imitation bacon bits. We've got some uh, oregano. We've got some turmeric. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Mm -hmm. Some cumin. Got a little bit of garlic powder. Some black pepper and a little dash of red pepper, also called cayenne. Okay. So I'll give a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of uh, bite to it. All these ingredients are available at Village Market. Yes, sir. And you cook this for six to eight hours six on high. Six to eight high. hours on high, then add the seasoning. How do you tell when it's done? Well, you want to just, you can taste a little bit to make sure that the vegetables are nice and tender. Okay. okay. Got some already prepared for you today. Yum, yum. Also want to mention that, you know, what's a good soup without a piece of cornbread. Mm -hmm. So what we did is I mm. very simply used a Bob Red Mills whole grain cornbread mix, very simple to prepare, have a corn muffin to go with your soup. If you're like me, you love collards, you love black eyed peas, you got to try putting the two of them together. The flavors are absolutely very incredible. Good. Again, all of the uh, ingredients are available at Village Market. Kim, thanks so much. Thank you. Happy New Year. You can find this recipe on Village Market's website and you can get to that through ours, WDEF.com. Stay with us, we're back in a moment.